Say yes to new beginnings. Yes. Say yes to new standards of excellence. Yes. Say yes to engage in reportage with a difference. Yes. Introducing Yes International Magazine. Most women don't enjoy sex, or most women claim they don't enjoy sex. Why is this so? Or we get to hear often about most women who complain about not enjoying sex. Why is this so? Okay. Um, it's because you said most women. That's why I opened my eyes. Um, if you say some women, yeah, some women don't. There are various reasons. Okay, and in fact, while we're at it, let me just talk about the men. So men too don't enjoy sex. Um, mm -hmm. but let me let me start with the women. You know, it, it, the thing is, for a woman to enjoy sex, the woman must first of all un un understand her body. Okay. If you don't understand your body, you don't know what's going on. Whatever the man is doing is just hitting you the wrong way. Okay. For women to have sex or to have sexual intercourse. You just have to lie down and the man mounts you or whatever and starts pounding away. That's it's much more than that. Okay. Uh, and then some women who have been genitally affected, by that I mean women who have been circumcised, um, just assume because they don't have clitoris for treating as it were, they will not enjoy sexual intercourse, which is wrong because if they are sexually or genitally mutilated, that is, um, you have been circumcised. The nerves of the clitoris are still available. They can still be, the nerves can still be stimulated to elicit um, um, sexual excitement. Okay? But some women don't know this, so they just lock up. And because um, love making is, um, is an emotional thing, you, you have to invest your emotions. If anything, tunes you off from your husband or your sexual partner, then you are just offering yourself to please your partner, not to enjoy what he is doing. You are just like, do let me just go away, you know, do and go away. That shouldn't be. Apart from the, what I just mentioned, there are psychological reasons as well why a woman will not enjoy sexual intercourse. Because um, for sexual intercourse to occur, there are stages of phases of sexual intercourse. Okay, so for a woman to enjoy sex, they ha she has to desire the person that um, she's having a sexual intercourse with. After desiring that person, then she must be aroused. By arousal, I mean getting lubricated before you now go to penetration and everything before the orgasm stage. So if those stages don't occur, the woman will not enjoy, you know, won't enjoy sex. The person All just right. maybe I desire, desire you, but I'm not aroused. Oh. Uh, <laughs> You, yes, you, you added, you injected the men into it. Yeah, it yeah. Okay. What happens? Yeah, um, sometimes <laughs> um, when, when we talk about sex and sexual issues, most men just think that um, once they have uh, an erection, uh, that's it. No, it goes beyond that. Because... First of all, you have to also have to desire the baby's faces, um, cut, cut both ways. You have to uh, desire your spouse. There is the arousal stage that you now have that erection. So sometimes some men will desire their partners, but they won't have an erection. Okay? There are several reasons why a man will not have an erection. And I mean, you can handle that in this um, life chart. Several reasons psychological, biology, medical, all those things. You know, that's why I was doing erection correction class for men, which is being expanded by the way. To, to something else. But the thing is, if a man does not have an erection, there's no way he will have penetrative sex. And if a man does not have an erection, there are other ways that he can enjoy sexual intercourse. It just boils down to what to do. You understanding, you understanding why you're not having an erection. Because if you don't go through the stage, you don't go through that um, desire, arousal, before you, 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 you will just be stuck. Okay? So, um, and sometimes when we talk about er er erectile dysfunction, it's in a spectrum. We have uh, the premature ejaculation, we have the 
delayed ejaculation. Okay, sometimes a man will just stay there and be pounding away and not having um, orgasm or not ejaculating. It's also a problem. Same, same people who will go in there and just fast and just ejaculate a few seconds or a few minutes at a time. So there's a problem that you need, you need to balance. And, and the bottom line is for the, both partners to enjoy what both of them are doing. That, that, that's, that's the essence of having sexual intercourse. All right. Now, talking about both partners now, for both uh, both parties to enjoy yes. sex, what must be done? What must, both of them must, you know, it, it, this um, phases or stage I'm talking about must must be followed. It, these stages can last as short as five minutes, ten minutes, thirty minutes, one hour, you know, but and, and you know. If it can be in in multiples, like it's a cycle, a sexual response cycle. You know, you start from you know, desiring the person, then you have an um, arousal, in in which case the man has an erection and the lady is lubricated. Then you now go into the um, um, real, the penetration. If they were, after the penetration, they have the orgasm, and then of course you have the resolution. Resolution, you know, if both of you have orgasm, and then you now go back to that cycle. That's why you will have two rounds or three rounds. The, the second round means, oh, I still want you, I still want to have this, you know, this um, another round of sexual intercourse. Oh, I'm lubricated again, or I'm having another erection, and then we'll go through the uh, rounds again. So all those things must be there. You must first of all desire the person. Talking about love making, I'm talking about sexual intercourse. That both of you are not in a hurry, there's no time that, oh, I, I, I have to pay certain amount, uh, you know, or maybe where, where we book, you have to leave at a certain time. There's no constraint. Both of you are relaxed. Okay? And just like having a quickie, maybe um, like you, some of you men, the wife will be at home with you. When she has dressed up to go, I'll not have come. If I go, let me tell you something. You're not scattered. The whole thing. <laughs> she, has, she has struggled to put together for herself, you know? And you find that, that kind of quickie lasts maybe five minutes or three minutes, but everything is packed in it. The, they desire each other, you know, they're both aroused and, you know, they get into this thing and it's short, but they're both happy, okay? So both of them must connect. You must desire each other. That desire must be there. Interesting. Both of them to enjoy what Interesting. So how many times do you advise couples to have sex in a week? Or how many times is appropriate for couples to have sex in a week? There's, there's no there's no hard and fast rule about it. As the feeling gets them. There are couples who don't have sex one week, two weeks, three weeks. But of course, you know those ones have problems. They have issues. But there are couples who can have it every day. Two times a day, three times a day. It depends on how they feel. So long as both of them are happy. So long as one does not feel the other person is um, making too much demands. Or one does not feel, oh, I'm, I'm demanding so much. And he or she is not responding. So long as nobody is pressured, both of them have the same um, desire for each other, the same um, zeal to have sexual intercourse. They can go ahead. Both of them need to be happy. That's all. There's no, there's no, there's no um, calendar, time to say, okay, you must have it two times a day. It's, it's not medication that you say, okay, two times, um, uh, once, three times a day. No. <laughs> Anytime, any, anyhow. Okay. Both of you are happy. Fine. All right. 